some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Seattle, Washington Airport with the man, the myth, the legend, the man who's been banned from every Burger King in the United States because, well, they simply can't feed him enough. Glenn Serio. And apparently, he's trying to get out of Dodge. Well, he says he's headed to New Jersey, but... There are signs everywhere that say Alaska. So maybe he just wants to go back up there because he's got a female Kodiak bear that he wants to shack up with. I'd be careful of them, Glenn, because those things can rip you apart in one swipe. But seeing as how you have the same attitude as they do, uh, you'll probably do just fine in their groups. At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good grief, Glenn. Are you okay? Because your breathing is about as loud as the background noises. I mean, get yourself checked out, dude. You don't sound so good. But I guess carrying all that weight around on your large frame isn't that easy. I mean, you look like you ate a horse. And then I tried to give him a hand and say it for last one. He doesn't like it when I'm talking, but I'm talking to him. You probably need me to approach, approach him regarding this. He's a little upset. Okay, did you want to speak with me, sir? Yes, I do. Okay. So, um, I just, I have nothing against this guy. I've never uh -huh. met him before in my life, okay? He woke me up out of a dead sleep, and the way he spoke to me was kind of rude. It was, if you don't have any airport business here, you don't belong here. Oh, so you are so sound asleep. Let me ask you something, Glenn. Is the reason why you were upset because you were dreaming about meeting up with your uh, little uh, Kodiak girlfriend again? And all the good times you'll have frolicking around, eating the local wildlife, getting yourself uh, all fattened up for the win next winter? Because you're going to need all that extra fat content to hibernate next winter. Just saying. You don't belong here. I can refer request that, and you'll have to show me that. So just so you know. What about me? Okay. So, um... You want to have a seat and we'll both sit down? No, no, we'll, we'll okay. stand, we'll stand. Right. Uh, I don't like being flanked, though, just so you know. Like, we, me. I don't like being flanked. I feel like I'm being surrounded. Okay, yeah, we're just... I mean, okay. we're not going to stand right behind each other. No, no, we can yeah. talk like normal people. Yeah. I'm not a threat to you or anything like that. Okay. So, anyways, uh... He woke me up out of a dead sleep. He said, if you don't have any airport business here... You need to leave. And I told him, I kind of woke up and said, I do have airport business here. I have a ticket. I'm waiting to print my ticket. It won't let me print my ticket. And he's like, you need to show me confirmation you have a ticket. I'm like, wait a minute. You don't work for the airport. You're the Port of Seattle Police. I don't have to show you anything. Now we all can see why you hooked up with Stacy. Yes, I know the name of your Kodiak girlfriend. And with that mouth you've got on you, you two would be perfect for each other. Just go back up to Alaska and propose to her and settle down and have a big family. Uh, never mind. Don't, I don't want to think about that. Carry on. I can show the airline or I can show TSA. I don't have any duty to show you guys anything. You guys are just here to protect and serve the airport. No, actually, you do. We are we're representatives of the airport, okay. and so that's what we do. We go around it, and we make sure that people do have business at the airport. Do you, so have a, you are required to show us that you do have the business in the, in the Do airport. you have a policy that shows that? Well, we're agents of the airport. Right. We act as agents of the airport. Sure, and you have to show a policy. You're, you, you, by law, you're required to show a policy that shows that you what your job duties are. Your job function. I don't. I'm telling you that is one of our jobs. You're telling me that. I don't know that. You can go online and you can look for the policy. Right. But right now, that is something that we do. Okay. In the Port of Seattle Police, we're acting as an agent of the Port of Seattle. Right. Itself. So that is something that is within our job. Uh -huh. um, and you're, you're a sergeant? Yes. Yeah. Pardon me, officer, but he's not going to be satisfied with just a sergeant. He's going to go all the way up the chain of command. 
Just ask his girlfriend Stacy. He pulls rank on her all the time. But then again, she just slaps that big paw across his head and he gets in line. I guess that's why he loves her because she knows how to treat him. Okay. Uh, what What is your name? I can't see. It's covered up. Griffin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, badge number? 334. 334. Okay. How long have you been with Seattle? Uh, Toward the Seattle police. Uh, that's not relevant to what we're talking about. It is very, very relevant. So, so do you have a ticket? Can you show a ticket so we can just resolve this right now? Um, I have a ticket. I don't have a t physical ticket. No. I have okay, a and this officer, you try to go over there and work with Alaska so you can just, we can just know that you do have a ticket and have business here and then we'll be done with this. Can we just do that? And then that way you won't get contacted anymore. We know that you have business here. And we'll well, I, hold There's on. There's no I, reason to, to, I, to I already, draw it out. I already explained to him at around 9 o'clock. I was going to go try to print my ticket and he's, I feel like he's already made threats about trespassing. Oh, come on now, a big man like you, you shouldn't be scared of anything. I mean, your girlfriend, Stacy, woo boy, if you're not afraid of her, then you shouldn't be afraid of anybody. Ted, uh, he's talked about trespassing multiple times. And he's used that as like a leverage to like force me to do something I don't want to do. Well, it's, it's not a threat. It's a consequence of you not being here with airport business. So let, let me so, tell, let me tell you this. If, if you were to charge me right now with criminal trespass, you would be sued for a million dollars. Well, we get threatened with, with being sued all the time. That's not going to stop us. It's, no, 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 no. It's no. not going to stop us. From it's, it's not, it's, so that if that's, um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not threatening threat, you with being sued. Like I'm telling you that us, but, I have a ticket. A okay, digital well, ticket. Well, I'm telling you, if you yeah. write a report, a narrative, a false narrative, and you charge me with criminal trespassing, and you take me to jail, I will come after you. I will sue your house. I will sue everything. That sounds like a threat. Glenn's bark is worse than his bite. Just go ask Stacy. She can tell you all about it. She has the goods on him. Oh, boy, does she ever. She can tell you about all the lawsuits that never happened. It's not a threat. It does, it does no, like a, a threat, threat, a threat, and, and a let me, physical let me harm. Tell you this: those threats will not stop us from doing our job. I did not threaten you. Yeah, you did. You just that's not a at, threat. You said you'd come after my house. You said I said I will after. sue you. So do you have a ticket? You're getting, now you're starting to get loud. No, I'm not. So do you have a ticket? Can we I have, resolve this with it? I you? have. Uh, okay, well, well, let's see the ticket, or let's go to Alaska, so they can tell us that you do have a flight going out. Here. Let's go to Alaska. Okay. Can we do that, Officer Blackwell? Yes, sir. In Alaska, and we'll try to resolve this. So I threatened you, right? You said I threatened you. You threatened to sue me, yes. Okay. You threatened to come after my house and me personally. Is that physical yes. harm? Is that anything like that? It's a threat to sue me, is what it is. It's a threat to sue you. That's so you legal. That's what I took that. A legal, a legal matter. I sued. I, I, I told you I was going to take you to court. Serious? You can review your video and see what you told me. Right. Now, that's not what we're discussing. We're trying to see that you have a ticket so we can resolve. We can. This. We can go. Let's we can go. go right now. Let's, Let's go. go. I will go. Alaska, Oh, I know where it's at. I was sitting uh, right next to it for a reason. Hi, I'm being harassed by the Port of Seattle police. Now, well, look what you officers did. Now he's going to have to go home to his girlfriend, Stacy, and cry in her lap about this whole thing, about how he was so persecuted by the officers. Oh, woo -hoo -hoo. Could you help me? Uh, can I come in here or what, what do I do? I, I... Yep, that's fine. So I'm going to show her my ID, not okay. you. That's fine. Yeah. Like I said, we're just trying to confirm that you actually have a ticket. 
No, you're you're harassing me. Is what you're doing? No, nope, we're doing our job. You are harassing me. Okay, sir, I'd love to help you. So if you could just show me your ID. I'm I'm getting it. Thank I'm get I'm not. And where were you flying to today? Here you go. Perfect. And where are you flying to today? Where were you flying to today? I'm not answering any more questions. Well, no, I need to so I could look it up in the computer. You can look it up. I, I, I feel like you're helping them. So, yeah, you, you, you kind of came at me a little bit. <laughs> You guys just said that I could show her and she would look it up. So what's the problem now? What's the problem? Well, you are for the most part. I mean, you're always causing trouble somewhere. Everywhere you go, trouble follows. Well, not only does trouble follow you, it precedes you considering they can hear your breathing from a mile away. I don't work for the airlines. You have to... Talk here I'm now. talking to her. I gave. I've done what you asked. Trying to help you. She asked for she, flight number. Listen to her. I don't have a flight number with me. I don't know why you're asking me about the flight. I you brought me over here. You took me here. You made me come here. Are you going to cooperate with? I've with cooperated. Her? She has my ID. We're on video. I have your ID. I just need to know where you're going to, so I could look it up. I'm going to Newark, New Jersey. Newark? Okay, New York. All right. Remember, the calmer we are, the smoother. I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. Are you telling me I'm causing a disturbance? What are you saying? What are you accusing me of? Just say it. They've already threatened me with criminal trespass. I'm going to sue them. I'm going to take them to court. And sir, were you leaving on the 9.45 a.m. flight this morning? Yes. Yes, I was. Okay, so that's flight 714. Yes, sir, I was. Now, why are you going to New Jersey? Is it because that you want to get away from Stacy? Because, well, she was telling you to get off your fat ass and get a job? I mean, it's quite understandable. you got to pull your own weight in the relationship. She can't do it all. Yeah, oh yeah, I have business here. Thank you. Thank you. Harassment. Felony harassment. District attorney will charge you. Real crime. There's a real crime in progress, and you're harassing me. There's a crime in progress, and you're harassing me. We just heard it on your radio. An active crime in progress, and you're harassing me. Ignore the crime in progress, active crime in progress, right? Oh, man. Don't delete that video because I need the FOIA right. request out. Um, Glenn? Yes. You're Glenn? Um, Glenn, I do not see you on flight, on the flight for today. Okay. Um, so I, I'm not showing you holding the ticket to Newark today. I have a ticket. Okay. Do you have anything that was sent to you from us on your phone? Yes. Can I see that then, please? Because I'm not finding you okay. in the system. Can you not show them my name? Okay. Yeah, private information. That's fine. 
I tell you something, Glenn doesn't know whether he's coming or going because he doesn't really have a brain in his head to speak of. That's probably why Stacy told him to leave, because she needs a real man who actually has a brain in his head. And add to that, she needed somebody who had a real job as well. So that's the end of that story. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I thank you for watching. See you on the next one.